Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to create a photography, logo or intro animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look at the preview and get started. Right, so first thing we'll do is drag your fusion composition onto the timeline. By default, the length will be five seconds long. Let's go to the fusion page and here we'll create our animation all right so now we need to import our logo i'll be using an aperture svg logo you can download it from this link over here uh, i'm going to use this svg icon you can i'll just leave the link in the description so you can go ahead and download this svg file so once you download it and now we have to import this so go to fusion at the top click on import and click on svg then you just search for this file. In my case, it's right in my downloads folder, aperture, and click on open. Now for the width and height, I'm gonna go with 400 by 400 and click on okay. So right now you can see it's in a group. So if I just view this, this is how it is going to look. So let's double click on this group to expand it. And if you click on path one, just like that, and it's in this inspector, just double click on this path one. And you can see that this is in fact uh, solid. So we'll uncheck solid and instead we'll set this to border. So we just have to change the border width. So for the border width, I'm gonna go with 0 0.03, click on enter. And now we have to do the same thing with other path nodes here as well. So select path two, double click and just uncheck solid and set the border width to 0 0.03. Okay, so I'm just going to select all of these nodes here and i can just double click on it and uncheck solid set this to 0 0.03 and then i'm going to select the next one so uncheck solid 0 0.03 for the border width and you have to do this with all of these three over here so i'm just going to fast forward this bit all right so once you are done with that now we can go ahead and animate this so let's move our playhead to the very first frame. Select the path one node over here and we can animate its length. So let's do that. I'm gonna create a keyframe. So let's make sure our length is set to zero. So our shape is not visible at the first frame. Then let's move to 60th frame and set this to one. If I preview this, this is how it is going to look. Now I can go to spline and easy ease or you know smooth out this keyframe so i can click on zoom to fit select these two keyframes hit s and hit the t key to get the ease in and ease out values i'm going to just ease it into 100 so if you now play this this is how it is going to look so it's going to start fast and then slow down at the end now i want to apply similar kind of animation and all of these parts over here so what i can do is i can select them all and let's select the topmost path over here and since we have already animated path one all you have to do is on the length right click go to connect to path one and length so your path two node will have uh, sorry the path seven node will have the similar kind of animation so let's go to path six and repeat the process right click on length connect to path one and length so again you have to do this on all of these paths so again i'll just pass over this part Okay, so once you do it, then this is how it is going to look. All of your paths will be animated and the easing will be also applied to these nodes that we have over here. So let's create a little bit of uh, scale animation on this shape over here. So after, let's move our playhead to 70th frame. And again, on path one, I can just create a keyframe on size. I can just, you know, make it big or small. On the scale size scale over here so i'm going to create a keyframe on size move forward to 75 and set the scale to let's go for 0 0.5 and let's move forward to 80th frame and set this back to the default value which is one okay so we have this simple animation and now i can apply the same size on the path over here as well so again we have to just select these uh, nodes let's start at the top and on the size right click and connect to path one and make sure this time you select size and not the length so click on size and do the same thing with other paths as well right click on size connect to path and size so again i'll just fast forward this bit 
So what we have created is this uh, click animation. Looks pretty cool. Now what we can do is let's go to the very first frame and under merge two over here. So let's select that and let's open that up. We can create a keyframe on angle. Let's go to 60th frame and change the angle. And I'm going to make it negative 180. Okay, so if we check it out, this is how it is going to look. Cool. And on the merge tool, I'm going to select it, settings, and apply motion blur on it. And I can increase the quality as well. So we have some motion blur going on. Make sure motion blur is enabled over here. All right. So after this, I can just close the group and I can, uh, you know, connect this up with the media out. So if I view the media out right now, you can see that the size is still 400 by 400. And we want this to be 1920 by 1080, same as the size in our edit page over here. So I can do is I can select this group, shift spacebar, and uh, we'll get this select tool. And I will type in BG for background, click on add, and connect this merge with the media out. Still, it's 400 by 400. Now all you have to do is right click on the merge, click on swap inputs. All right, that is looking good. Let's click on this background node and I'm gonna set the alpha all the way down to zero so that we have this as a transparent background. And you can go inside the aperture over here, the group. And if you wanna change the color of the path, for example, for the outline, it has this background node to it. You can just expand that and you can change it to any color that you want. So let's go with the yellow color. And similarly for all of these paths over here, it is connected to this background. So we'll select that and change its color to yellow as well. Okay, so that is looking pretty neat. So let's close our fusion page and go to the edit page where we can see our animation. Okay, so let's play this animation. In the edit page, you can see we have this animation. I forgot to apply the easing on the angle. So let's go to fusion page, double click on the aperture group. And we have this merge two over here. We have applied the angle on it the angle animation let's go to spline and make sure we select these two keyframes at s and uh, ease that in to 100 okay so our animation should look good now okay that is looking amazing uh, so let's apply some glow which is completely optional after this merge 3 i will apply soft glow click on add actually let's just delete this and i'm going to apply another glow over here and let's increase the glow size and reduce the glow amount like that and uh, should have a really subtle glow in your final animation right now we need to create a flash effect so at this frame we can add let's go to generators and add a solid color over here and i'm going to change the color to white and I can just zoom into this and with the blade tool, I can just cut this layer maybe in a frame or maybe let's do two frames and delete the rest of the clip. And if you now play this, we'll have a flash animation like so. And now we can also apply some text. So I'm going to add a text plus to this and we can type in any text that we want. I'm going to go with some initials such as DR or DaVinci Resolve and I can change the font. So if your text is not filling up in the center of our logo, you can go back to your uh, Fusion Comp of our logo over here. And under Merge 3 over here, I can just simply increase the scale. And you can go back to edit page and see if the text is inside the logo or not. Or you can just select the text and reduce the scale on this to fit your text inside the logo. We can also apply another sound effect to this. So let's apply the camera click. Let's start it over here. And let's play the entire animation. We'll also have this audio over here of revolver chamber spin. I downloaded these from Mixkit. It's a really amazing website to download your sound effects. That is looking cool. So let's uh, move this onto a new track and I can also apply a background to this. So let's apply some background and I can just scale it up like so. And now if you play the animation. 
So after the click, we have an image visible. You can apply some animation to the image as well. So you can create a keyframe on zoom and go to the end. So let's make sure it matches the length of the fusion combo here. And I can just increase the zoom amount like so. So we have a animation on our image as well. So there you go. That's how you can create this uh, photography logo or intro animation inside of Venture Resolve. Hope this video is helpful. If it was, then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.